Hey guys, Sharp here with a huge mess. Basically, uh, I ended up picking up a collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards from my brother-in-law who moved and just decided to hand me all his cards. So, not complaining. Pretty cool. Um, I got a collection from Whatnot, which I'll show you guys as well. And then I got a collection off Facebook, some Silver Age books. And we're going to go through these now. Um, I already went through some of these books. None of these are keys that I've really kind of looked into. Um, I do need to put them in new sleeves as they're in these uh, folder sleeves here. Um, but let's get to it. So these are all going to be back and boarded for my show uh, Sunday the 29th of October. Um, on Whatnot Sharpie. Uh, 44 is the name. Make sure you follow me. I'm going to have a huge sale. Uh, Thor 230. Two Gun Kid. It's kind of beat up. Marvel Collector's Item. These are all like uh, books that have obviously been read countless times. Uh, basically, I picked up this collection from a. Uh, older female that had a house up north that read these as a kid and uh, found a box so some of these could be keys I haven't really looked any of these up quite yet um, obviously the, the common ones I'm going to know the um, moment you guys see it you'll know too some of these war books from uh, Gold Key are pretty nice. Uh, Avengers 130, it's not a key. It's obviously got some wear, obviously it has some wear and tear on it. Uh, Air Force book. Uh, all these books are gonna be starting at a dollar, uh, two dollars on uh, whatnot. War Heroes. Uh, these could be something, not sure, like I said. Have a look at me. If you guys see something, let me know. A couple more. Um, I ended up picking these up. Um, the original price on Facebook was 300 bucks. I uh, asked her if she would do 260 based on the list. Um, when I ended up speaking to her in person, I went through some of these books and saw the condition, kind of explained to her, um, you know, explained to her conditions and, and that type of scenario. And uh, she agreed to uh, 180. So she actually dropped down quite a bit. I think she said 150. Or she said she said she didn't know what they were worth pretty much and I said well kind of talked to her and we figured something out anyways I ended up paying what did I say 180 um, this is Bumba Jung Jungle Boy number one it's not bad here is ASM annual number three it's going to be missing the back cover, unfortunately. Uh, Submariner 67. I think this is the first debut of the first costume, or his new costume. So this is the first key we've seen so far. And last but not least, Hulk 182. It's definitely got its issues. It's got the Marvel value stamp. But we'll be going up for auction on and whatnot. Make sure you uh, bookmark my show. Um, also, this is from whatnot. This is from DRC underscore comics. From whatnot. Uh, Uncanny 145. 360. These are all going to my PC. This I just picked up. I don't even know why. This will be selling for sure. 
uh, Fantastic Four 357, which I need my PC, and 254, which I need my PC, and 402. Um, if I figure out any more about uh, these Yu-Gi-Oh cards, if anyone's interested, wants to uh, see what I picked up, if you guys are interested in Yu-Gi-Oh cards, let me know. Comments down below. Um, I really have no clue whatsoever. Um, obviously, I know about the graded card because I can look it up easier, but other than that, I'm kind of lost. Like I said, follow me on uh, Whatnot, Sharpie44. And uh, yeah, catch you guys next time.